Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to disable backups on a Project Zomboid server. Automatic backups are enabled by default and take place when the server starts or when you have version updates. This can increase server start times, but it can be disabled in the config settings. Before we get started with the tutorial, disabling these backups will lead to shorter load times, but it could also lead to a loss of data, so make sure to back up any files locally that you would not like to lose. First, we're going to log into the Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our Project Zomboid server. Next, we're going to choose the red stop button to stop the server. We're then going to go to the file manager, and then we're going to go to the .cache folder, then the server folder. And in here, we're going to open the .any file. The name of the .any file will change depending on the name of the server in the startup tab. So for us, it's just bisect.any, but it might be something different for you. Once here, we can navigate to the backup section, or we can do control F and search for backups. We are going to change the backups count equals line to the amount of backups that we'd like to be having held. We are then going to change the backups on start to false. This will disable the automatic backups on the server start and will reduce load time. Lastly, we do recommend to keep backups on version change equals line enabled as version updates may break the existing saves. Once we have all those changes, we can choose the save content button. We can then go back to the console, start our server, and we will have disabled backups on our Project Zomboid server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.